Here's my end results of my chicken bags dumpling stew. I'm telling y'all, this is Southern Living cooking or whatever you call it, down south cooking or in the country cooking or whatever you want to call it. This is it right here, y'all. It's country and it is fabulous. Look at the fluffy dumplings. These are the dumplings that I put in and they are fluffy and Delicious, y'all. They are delicious. You don't put milk in your mouth. They're flavorful because you use the broth to make the dumplings real. The chicken is stewed. The chicken backs are stewed. And you eat mostly this right here, y'all. Now you can leave the skin on, which most of them do. But I would suggest you take the skin off. No, you like skin. Let's do this. Okay. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is another way back in the woods. <laughs> back in the South, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Carolina. You just name it. Those South, those Southern states have done this recipe. This recipe is chicken backs. Just chicken backs. And you can't hardly find chicken backs, but you can find them in the South. Now, they be in a package. They're not uh, plentiful like they used to be, but they are chicken backs. And if you can't find chicken backs, get the leg quarters and cut the backs off the chicken backs. Because on the leg quarters, they do have the chicken back because they cut it down the middle and there is a uh, chicken back. So that's why I got these y'all from the lid quarts. <laughs> but these are chicken backs. And what we're gonna do with them is make a chicken back stew with dumplings. This is what we used to do when we made chicken and dumplings. We mostly use the backs and the necks and fry the chicken thighs and the legs and the breasts for dinner. And sometimes you can use uh, the chicken thighs to go with the chicken backs. But this is enough potent uh, on these chicken backs where, the, where they boil them and get that suction from the bones. They boil them all, they boil them all day, like maybe two hours until those, that substance get real rich and then we drop those dumplings in it. I'm going to show you how to do that in a few minutes. So right now, I just want you to know, this is a way back when y'all, the chicken backs and dumplings. Yes, indeed. I will be right back with you and show you what we're going to do next. All right, we got our chicken backs in water and we got it all the way up to the top almost because we're going to make a big pot of chicken stew because we let these chicken backs stew down to a richness. So what we're going to do now is this going to take about, or let me take, what we're going to do now is going to take about two hours almost for it to stew down and we're going to add our dumplings to it. This, we don't have any salt or any pepper or anything in this. We're just going to let them stew down. This is the first half, and then we're going to show the second half how we do step by step. And this wonderful back home chicken dumplings with chicken backs. As you can see, our chicken backs have simmered, and they smell delicious. I don't have any salt or pepper in there. Now... I'm getting ready to add some salt and pepper inside like that. And I'm going to add the onions and the celery in like that. And let it stew down again about maybe 20 minutes and we'll come and put our dumplings in. All right, your um, chicken backs broth is just right. It smells delicious, y'all. Now you take the fat off. You can take the fat off the bone if you like. But then get, back in the days, they did not take it off. But I suggest that you take the fat off the bones if you want to do that. And leave this just this little part right here. That little part you eat right there. 
but you take the fat off the bones and it's already easy to take off because it's already boiled down because it's stewed. What we're going to do now is make the dumplings. We got black pepper, salt, bacon powder, and uh, plain flour. We got broth right here from the uh, stewed turkey backs to add to this here. So we're going to blend this together and we're going to add the liquid to this and we'll be right back. You want your dumplings batter to look sticky like this. You're going to add it to the broth, but do not move them. Just drop them in there like that. Drop them in there like that, y'all. And don't move them. Leave them like that. Don't touch them. Just drop it in there like that. And do the rest like that. Do not move them. You want them to stay just like this. Drop them in like that. Just like this. Okay? And I'll be right back and show you what we do next. When you finish putting all the dumplings in, just like I did at this bowl, you're going to add some more black pepper and some parsley flakes if you desire. You're not moving them. You do not touch them. Then you're going to put a top on top of them and let them cook low for about 10 minutes. And we'll be right back. Okay, after 10 minutes, you're going to push them down gently, just like that. So they can merge into the sauce to make a good sauce. You're going to merge them down just like that. Merge them down. Mmm, they smell so good. And we're going to merge them down until we get a thickness here. And we'll be right back, y'all, when they're ready. 